Good morning. Welcome to today's event. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and Canada. In October 1970, the older generation of the leaders of our two countries had made a visionary decision to open the door of relations between our two countries, which ushered in a new chapter for our bilateral cooperation. Over the past 50 years, China-Canada relations have made great progress, delivering tangible benefits to our two peoples. The trade volume had increased to 74 billion US dollars in 2019, almost a 500 fold increase compared to that in the 1970s. Currently, there are more than 200,000 students from China studying in Canada. And also, we have been working on the global issues like climate change, environmental protection, and the sustainable development. And that's making contribution to world prosperity and stability. Regrettably, the current China-Canada relations are in serious difficulties due to the Meng Wanzhou incident. This incident is a grave political incident plotted by the United States by the United States. And the purpose is to bring down Huawei and other high-tech Chinese enterprises. And unfortunately, Canada served as an accomplice in the process. We urge the Canadian government to make the right decision as soon as possible to release Madame Wong and ensure her safe return back to China on the basis of fairness and justice, and also the merits of the issues itself, so as to create conditions to bring China-Canada relations back onto the right track. In recent years, I would like to point out, the United States has been engaged in power politics and unilateralism, spreads political viruses, and deliberately smears Communist Party of China. But in fact, it is under the strong leadership of the CPC that the Chinese people have found a development path consistent with the country's national realities and achieved great progress with the enabling of the world. We welcome more Canadians to visit China to see by themselves the China's development achievements. As a responsible major country, China firmly opposes unilateralism and the power politics. And China will remain a builder of world peace, a contributor to international, to global uh, economies, and also an upholder of international order. Confucius, when discussing the different stages of a person's life, said that at 50, I knew the view of the heaven. Looking back in the past 50 years, I think there's neither past grievances, nor major conflicts of interest between our two countries. The healthy and stable relationship between China and Canada serves the common interests of our two peoples. However, any relationship can only remain stable and far-reaching if both parties adhere to the principle of mutual respect and equal treatment. So bearing that in mind, we hope that Canada could take a long-term perspective and work together in the same direction with the Chinese side to strive to open more bright prospects for our bilateral relations. Thank you. And now I would like to take questions from you.